It's 21 minutes after 1 o'clock. you watching the Midday View on ENCA DSTV Channel 403. Thank you for joining us. Now, a Mozambican anti-corruption watchdog has filed an urgent court application to stop the extradition of that country's former finance minister, Manuel Chang, from South Africa back to his home country. Chang is accused of being a key player in a two billion U.S. dollar loan corruption scandal. He denies any wrongdoing. A trial, meanwhile, is underway in Mozambique since Monday this week. Let's speak now to Professor Adriano Nuvunga. He's a chairperson for Mozambique's Budget Monitoring uh, Forum, and that's the NGO that's filed this urgent court application. Professor Nuvunga, good afternoon. First up, uh, have you now filed this application? And some of us here in Johannesburg have seen uh, the court papers, but we haven't been able to go through all of them. Uh, is the application rather in court now? Yes, um, the FMO has filed a notice of intention to oppose the extradition of uh, former finance minister of Mozambique to Mozambique uh, to the South African authorities. Um, and South African authorities have acknowledged recipient of this note, um, meaning that um, uh, they... Uh, they should not uh, extradite him to Mozambique before um, considering um, this uh, note of uh, intention to oppose the extradition. Why are you opposing the extradition? We oppose the extradition because, um, he said, he was deciding to extradite Manuel Shang to Mozambique based on new facts. And the new facts he seems to be referring to um, is the ongoing trial of the 19 uh, con conspirators who um, have um, uh, colluded um, for the, this, which is the biggest uh, corruption case uh, in Mozambique. But the reality is that Manuel Shang is not part of this group. There is a lingering separate case against him that is lingering there is no um certainty that mr manuel shank will be um arrested uh, upon arrival and um there is no also um certainty that he will face uh, justice um in order to um uh, uh, further clarify the case and do justice to the mozambican what we see here is that um, the attempt to extradite Manuel Shang to Mozambique is a victory of impunity, is a victory of corruption and of state capture, not only in Mozambique, but in the southern uh, Africa. Have you had a response yet besides acknowledgement whether or not your application will be dealt with? Because I saw some speculation that some people in Maputo are wondering whether we're going to see a second Omar al-Bashir. I don't know if you remember what happened several years ago when the former president of Sudan, Omar al-Bashir, was on an Interpol uh, uh, list and was wanted, and he was in South Africa, and he was ordered by a court here to be arrested, but then he managed to leave the country. Some people thinking this might happen, that while you are busy with that application, Mr. Manuel Cheng might just disappear from South Africa and find himself back in Mozambique. Indeed, um, we um, uh, are not expecting uh, that the South African authorities would uh, repeat uh, the Ol 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 uh, Omar al-Bashir case. Um, we um, have um, been, uh, there are people speculating that uh, he might already been um, in uh, en route to, to Mozambique, but we have checked uh, that he was still in South Africa until 7 a.m. in the morning. This means that uh, all South African authorities relevant to this case were notified about the intention to oppose. So attempt to repeat the Omar al-Bashir uh, case 
would be a, a gross violation to uh, South African laws and to um, uh, the system of governance um, in the Sadek region. Okay, we'll have, we will have to watch and see what's going to happen in the next day or so in terms of that urgent application. Thank you very much for this hour. Professor Adriano Novunga, the chairperson for Mozambique's Budget Monitoring Forum, an NGO that's filed an urgent application in a South African court in an attempt to stop the extradition of the former Mozambique Finance Minister Manuel Cheng back to his country instead of to the United States.